Yeast Infections Introduction Yeast is a type of fungus. Yeast infections can be caused by many different varieties of fungus. The most common fungus that causes a yeast infection is called Candida. Yeast infections can affect many different parts of the body. These include the mouth, esophagus, vagina, and skin. Yeast infections can even affect the bloodstream. This program will help you understand yeast infections, including the different types of yeast infections. It also discusses symptoms, causes, and treatment of yeast infections. Yeast infections Yeast lives almost everywhere, including your body. It is usually found in the mouth, digestive tract, and the vagina. A small amount of yeast is normal. Usually, your immune system keeps yeast under control. When your body can't control yeast, it can multiply. This causes a yeast infection. Yeast infections are not usually contagious. However, sometimes a person with a weak immune system can catch the infection. Yeast infections affect different parts of the body in different ways. For example, thrush is an oral yeast infection that affects your mouth and tongue. It causes white patches of yeast to grow. These patches can increase in number or size if not treated properly. Esophagitis is a thrush that spreads to your esophagus. The esophagus is the tube that takes food from your mouth to your stomach. Esophagitis can make it hard or painful to swallow. Women can get vaginal yeast infections. Vaginal yeast infections are sometimes called vaginitis. They affect the vagina. Vaginal yeast infections are common and may cause itchiness, pain, and abnormal discharge. Yeast infections of the skin cause itching and rashes. These infections can happen on any part of the skin, but often begin in warm, moist areas like the armpits. Diaper rash in infants is most commonly caused by yeast. In adults, yeast infections in the groin areas, known as jock itch, and in the feet, known as athlete's foot, are very common. Yeast infections in your bloodstream can be life-threatening. These infections are mostly found in people with very weak immune systems. Yeast is naturally found in the body. Select true or false. Correct. Yeast lives almost everywhere, including your body. A small amount of yeast is normal. Only women get yeast infections. Select true or false. Correct. The statement is false. Symptoms. Symptoms of a yeast infection depend on the type and location of the infection. Most types of yeast infections cause itching or pain in the affected area. Thrush, the oral yeast infection, may cause the following symptoms. Red cracked patches in the mouth. White patches in the mouth. Patches that bleed easily. Soreness. Symptoms of esophagitis, the yeast infection of the throat, include pain behind the breastbone. Painful swallowing. A yeast infection of the skin may cause the following symptoms. Red, moist, raw skin, usually found in warm, moist areas. Inflammation of the skin. Itchy or painful skin. Tiny, pus-filled bumps. Symptoms of a vaginal yeast infection include vaginal itch, burning, or pain. Abnormal discharge, sometimes appearing like cottage cheese. Pain with sexual intercourse. Painful urination. Symptoms of a yeast infection depend on the type and location of the infection. Select true or false. Correct. Risk factors. Certain factors can increase a person's chance of getting a yeast infection. These are known as risk factors. Infants are at a higher risk of thrush. Thrush is not considered abnormal in infants unless it doesn't go away after a couple weeks. Young children are also at an increased risk of yeast infections of the skin. Diaper rash is an example of this type of infection. The diaper creates a warm, moist environment for the yeast to grow in. Older people are more likely than others to develop thrush. This makes age a risk factor for a yeast infection. 
Gender is a risk factor. Most women will have a vaginal yeast infection at some point in their lives. Obesity is another risk factor for yeast infections. People who are obese may have extra folds of skin in which yeast can grow. Yeast infections are also common in people who are pregnant, have diabetes, have HIV or other immunodeficiency disorders, take certain cancer drugs or steroids, use antibiotics or birth control pills. Other factors that may increase a person's risk of a yeast infection include hormonal changes, illness, lack of sleep, poor eating habits, stress. Which one of the following can increase a person's chances of getting a yeast infection? Choose one of the following options. 1. Age. 2. Stress. 3. Taking antibiotics. 4. All of the above. Correct. There are many risk factors that increase a person's chances of getting a yeast infection. Diagnosis. If you have symptoms of a yeast infection, your healthcare provider will try to find out if a yeast infection is the cause of your symptoms or if there is another cause. Your healthcare provider will ask about your symptoms and perform a physical exam. In most cases, a yeast infection can be diagnosed by looking at the infected area. Scrapings or samples of the infected area can also help confirm a diagnosis. Samples can be cultured or examined under a microscope to determine if a yeast infection is the cause. For a vaginal yeast infection, a healthcare provider will do a pelvic examination to look for inflammation and white patches on the vaginal wall. A sample of vaginal discharge can also help diagnose a yeast infection. Your healthcare provider may also choose other tests if a yeast infection doesn't go away or returns frequently. This may be a sign of an underlying cause, such as HIV or a weakened immune system. Treatment Some yeast infections can be treated at home. However, you should talk to your healthcare provider if your symptoms do not improve or go away after trying home treatment. Thrush treatment may include antifungal mouthwash or lozenges. Thrush in infants is considered common and usually goes away on its own. Good hygiene is key in treating yeast infections of the skin. Try to keep the area dry and open to the air. Weight loss can also help if the yeast infection is caused by obesity. Antifungal medication eliminates yeast infections in most people. Creams or ointments are available for infection of the mouth, skin, or vagina. Sometimes medications must be taken by mouth for severe infections. Medications are available both over-the-counter and by prescription. Diabetics with a yeast infection should make sure their blood sugar is under control. This can help clear the infection and prevent future infections. Yeast infections may return. Repeat vaginal or skin yeast infections are common. Talk to your healthcare provider if your infection returns. Most yeast infections are easily treated. However, a yeast infection may be life-threatening in people with a weak immune system. A weak immune system may make treatment more difficult. Treatment of yeast infections in the blood may require weeks of IV antifungal medications. This type of infection can be life-threatening. Once a yeast infection is treated, it won't return. Select true or false. Correct. Yeast infections may return. Talk to your healthcare provider if your infection returns. There may be an underlying cause, such as a weakened immune system. Summary. Yeast infections are caused by fungi. Candida is one of the most common fungi involved with these infections. Yeast infections are very common. They can affect many different parts of the body. These include the mouth, esophagus, vagina, skin, and even the bloodstream. Yeast infections affect different parts of the body in different ways. 
Some types of yeast infections can be treated at home. Other types of yeast infections go away on their own. You should talk to your health care provider if your symptoms don't improve or go away after trying home treatment. Also talk to your health care provider if your infection returns. A yeast infection may be life-threatening in people with a weak immune system. A weak immune system may make treatment more difficult. However, most yeast infections are easily treated. You should understand that this health education video 1. Includes general information and not specific medical advice. 2. It shows graphics and series of pictures and dialogues that have been simplified for better understanding. If you have any questions, you will check with your doctor or healthcare provider.